What's up guys, back here for another video tonight. Um, it is a little bit late, just got back in from work, so it is almost about nine o'clock. Are gonna be doing a little bit of work on the truck today, finally getting over to the truck. But first, we actually got a box in the mail. Let's see, I don't even really remember what this is, to be totally honest with you. Give me a hold out here, working late. Oh, got some goodies here. Let me see what we got, Lola. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a little care package from Voodoo right here. Let's get all this stuff out real quick. Whoops. things got some air fresheners Let's see. some uh, nanotechnology sealant also got some car care wash and we got the third divider for the bottom of the bucket along with the new voodoo ride bucket it's very exciting truck definitely needs a well-deserved wash that hasn't gotten for a little while so pretty cool got some stuff coming in here not what today is going to be about though. So today is going to be about this. So we are going to be throwing on a 40 inch curved rough country light bar on the truck today. So without waiting any further, let's get to it. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty much comes with everything that you need. I don't know if you can see these instructions or not. So obviously you got the light bar. Comes with the double relay pack already, which is going to be right here. I have a pretty good idea of where I think I'm already going to put them. Nuts and bolts. And that focuses in for me. And then rubber bushing to under the light bar. So you don't scratch on anything. And a couple of different little brackets and stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so should be pretty easy. Pretty much, we've got these two brackets here. They're gonna actually go right into where the factory tow bar goes into. The light bar is going to go all the way from this side to that side. So there are four bolts. I don't know if you can see them. Hold on. There we go. So there are four bolts, top and bottom, two on each side to hold these things on. There is a nut on the back side that you gotta reach out from under nine to get off. So that's pretty much what we're gonna do next. than originally underestimated the new brackets are on so last thing to do now is just throw the light bar in
Oh, my true. Now that it's all wired up. Oh, it'll focus here for me. Maybe. Okay, anyway, you got two different switches here. You got one. It's going to be just kind of like uh, daytime running lights. You can kind of see not all the lights are on. And then you got mode number two. It is going to be the light bar completely, which nothing. Daytime running. And then full LEDs. So everything looks like it's wired up. Now all we got to do is clean up some of these wires. Get the switch through the firewall, which is probably not going to be easy. And then we are good to go. So everything's looking good to go. Light bar is in. Wiring was pretty easy. Ran it right up the side, kind of by the headlight. You see the wire comes over. I kind of just have everything jumbled together for here, just for right now. Run right over. There's the two factory fuses that uh, Rough Country gives you to run everything up. You've got a uh, battery to go over to the positive terminal. Ground running through the firewall and then last but not least runs right up over to the switch which I will show you guys right now but I'm obviously back in the truck now let me see if I can find the damn switch over here so that's with the light bar on that's off this one's got the kind of like just a little daytime running light on you really can't see that one but with the light bar on that thing is super bright that is like blinding bright that is crazy so that was just normal headlights Let's see if I can do one with no headlights. That's no headlights. And then look at even just the light bar by itself. It's ridiculously bright. So that is going to be a wrap for tonight. I'm dirty. A little nastier than expected. Honestly, kit, super easy to put in. Um, didn't really struggle with anything at all for the most part. Hardest thing was actually getting the two front tow hooks off with the bolts in the back. Uh, those things were on there tight, so that was the most thing that I struggled with out of everything. Other than that, the kit is really easy, self-explanatory. Once you get the mount bar lighted, hardest thing is really just to run the wiring through the firewall. The wiring is a little bit thick, so you've got to take a razor blade and kind of cut a little chunk of the, uh, the I don't know, little rubber grommet part that kind of goes right to the firewall. Other than that, wire the switch right in, have a little Dremel kit, Dremel a little piece of, uh, or a little hole through a piece of plastic inside, wherever you want to mount the switch, it's totally up to you. I put mine right down here on the left, kind of underneath the steering wheel. It's easy to get to, I know where it is. I already have another switch already wired there as well. So other than that, that's gonna be it for tonight. So I will see you guys next time. But real quick, a couple more things going on within the next couple days. I do have a couple more toys that we're gonna to be throwing on the truck. So stay tuned and keep watching out for videos.